Hey everyone, welcome to our tutorial on how to set up contracts and e-signatures. For today's agenda, we'll talk about how to enable e-signatures in Aptivo, how to configure your contract template, and what the end user will see when you send them a contract. Aptivo's e-signature platform is powered by Sign.co. This application was built by Aptivo. You can use it as a standalone solution, or you can use it with Aptivo's CRM. For today's video, we will use it for Aptivo's CRM. To get started, we'll have to log in to your sign.co account. You can use the same login as the login that you use for Aptivo. The reason why we're signing in to sign.co is to purchase the correct plan that you need to send out the e-signatures. Once you're logged into sign.co, all you have to do is access the setting on the left side, go to billing, and select the right plan that will suit your business. Now that we selected our plan, it's time to turn on the e-signature feature. So on the top right, under your name, go to manage your account. Then on the left side, under services, click on e-signature. And then you just have to turn the e-signature on. Now that we have the e-signature feature enabled, let's go into our contracts app and create a document. On the top right, once we're inside the Contracts app, you can access your settings. On the left side, find the contract integration and click on print slash web layout. Once you do that, you can either start from a blank layout or start from the default layout. What I'll do is I'll go into one of the contracts that I've already created. So right in here, as you can see, I have the contract created I can make edits to the contract by clicking on these sections. I can drag in new sections if I need to. On the right side right here, I can drag in a content block, type in whatever I want, and I can also pull attributes from these four different applications. So I can pull attributes from my contracts app, the opportunities, the customer, and the business information. To add a signature line, what you'll need to do is locate the e-sign attribute on the right side. What you can then do is drag in this attribute anywhere in the document that you'd like a signature to be attached to. Once we get that in there, you can simply just hit save. Now that we have the template set up, let's go into one of the contracts I created and take a look at how we can send the contract out. So make sure when you create the contract that you select the proper template. And once you have that in there, you'll simply just hit send e-sign. Once you hit send e-sign, the client will get a copy of the contract. They can then sign the contract and then you'll receive an email with the signed document. After you send over the contract, the client will get a link in their email to sign for this document. This page shows the document that was sent over to the client. Once they give us consent, on the bottom of the page, there will be a portion that will allow the user to sign for this document. They can click on this link. After they sign for it, a copy of the document will be sent to both parties. 